morning everyone Heather from New Zealand here how are you and welcome back we're up to day nine and uh, how did you go with your control journal yesterday today we're going to look at getting rid of some of that stuff that um, maybe has been making life a really really hard for us maybe some areas in our house where we're a little bit ashamed to show the neighbors <laughs> okay so if you want to start making inroads into that keep watching and um, we'll start on day nine Okay, so day nine. I hope you've shined your sink. I hope you dressed your shoes, got those house shoes on. Um, and maybe you've already done your hot spot. So um, you've got some ticks on that control, control journal. Hope you're able to get that set up yesterday. And um, yeah, we can, we can start using that every day. Give yourself a tick and give yourself a reward when you get your routines done. Your morning routine and your afternoon routine. Now, today we're gonna start little bit by little bit um, organizing some of those areas that we have kind of lost hope on our worst area in the house now you as soon as I say that something will a room will jump to mind or an area will jump to mind it might be a corner of a room um, for me it's my study that tends to be a room where I drop things that I think oh I don't know what to do with that I'll put that there um, so and I'll make a decision later. Um, or, oh, I can't be bothered putting that out in the garage. I'll just put, put it in there for now. Um, so it's kind of become my dumping area. And it's got to a point where I wouldn't want anybody to see it. You know, I, 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 if the family come, I close the door. Friends come, I close the door. Um, one thing that's unfortunate for me is I have a, I have a, a deck outside our house that people walk, a clock, walk to get to the front door. So if visitors come and the curtains are open on my study, um, they get to see all that junk. So I often keep the curtains closed. So it's really easy for me to identify my worst room in the house. And I prob probably is for you too. That place you don't want to go and clean up. So what we're going to do, we're not going to rush in there and have a big project and a big mission and we're going to do everything. You know, We don't do that in Fly Lady. We do it in little bits. So what we're going to do today is get your timer and um, maybe you're using your phone, maybe you're using the timer on your stove, whatever you want. This is my little timer. Set it for five minutes. That's all. Five minutes is doable. Okay, so go into your worst room in your house, push start on your timer and off you go. Pick up some things, put them away if they live in that room. If they don't live in that room, just put them outside the, and maybe in the hallway for now. Don't don't leave the room to put them away. Just put them outside. Um, maybe um, you've got rubbish. You can put that straight in a bin, um, and just do that for five minutes. Okay, you're not going to get it all done. We know that. That's not not a problem. Just do it for five minutes. You'll be surprised actually how much you can get done if you've just focus for those five minutes. Now, when the timer goes, stop. A bit like the two minute hotspot um, exercise we went through. Um, when the timer goes, stop. And okay, you've still got heaps to do. That doesn't matter. We're just doing five minutes. Now, take that bag of rubbish that you've got, go put it in the rubbish bin. Um, you've possibly put some things away in the room. The, the items that were in the wrong location, in the wrong room, now go and put them where they should be. Because we've just done five minutes of rescuing this room, um, you're not going to have a huge amount to just finish off the job. So do that. Put those, put the rubbish away and put those things away. And, um, and then you've done it. You've done today's task for, you, for day nine. You've started to get rid of a little bit of clutter, get a little bit of order, used your timer, practice working to the timer, practice stopping. What we want to do is take baby bites of the big problem. Um, you've probably heard the, the joke, I mean it's quite old now, you know, how do you, how do you any, eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Well this is how we're going to clean up our house and our junk. One little baby bite of work, in this case five minutes at a time. And eventually we will end up with a clean, organised, smooth running house. Who doesn't want that? 
Okay, that's it for day nine. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe um, and press the bell. Um, if you've just watched these videos for the first time, go back to number one where, um, and start at number one um, because we've already got quite a few habits in place that are supporting us to do these other things. So don't, don't forget to start at the beginning and take one step at a time. And um, yeah, that's all from New Zealand. Enjoy your five minute room rescue. Um, pat yourself on the back. Maybe give yourself a little reward. Maybe put the timer on for 15 minutes. Put your feet up and have a cup of tea after you've done it. Breaks are as, just as important as doing the work. Um, enjoy your journal. You know, enjoy giving yourself some ticks and um, enjoy getting up in the morning to a clean sink and clothes all ready to go. Right, I'll say bye for now and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.